When it comes to the 2018 Polaris XCR Switchback, you can't call it King of the Hill because that would imply this thing is an RMK, and you can't say King of the Trail because that doesn't come off the tongue at all, so I guess you just gotta call it badass. Polaris brought back the XCR nameplate in 2017 and at the same time went back to the XCR's roots as a cross-country sled. Now somewhere between the first XCRs and 2017, Polaris watered down the XCR brand with powerful but somewhat lacking trail sleds that had lost sight of the XCR's cross-country racing roots. Thankfully, that era is over. In 2018, the switchback option is now available, and that means you get all the regular XCR goodies, but with a 137 by 1.35 inch track wrapped around the lengthened Pro XC rear skid frame. After the STV and OSM crews have had the chance to ride the new switchback, just about everyone agreed that the longer skid settled the XCR down just enough for mere mortals to pull all the potential out of the XCR. Now the difference between the switchback and regular 121 inch versions isn't much. It's just that the shorter track demands a bit more reaction speed on the part of the rider to keep the 121 in check. This settling is due to the longer effective wheelbase of the 137 inch track in the back. It also means the centralized mass is just a little bit longer because of the longer chassis. All this means the 121 inch version reacts just that millisecond faster. Not that it's bad, mind you, but if you're gonna go full send on it, you'd better know what you're doing. Don't get me wrong on this point. Just because the switchback is easier to control, it's only by the slightest little bit. This is still a sled that Polaris has got turned up to 11, so you'd better be wearing your big boy underwear. And I'm not talking about trails that look like this, tabletop smooth and straight. There's better sleds out there than this one. For that, get yourself a couch. No, I'm talking about trails that look like this. Cross-country racing was the focus of the Wizards of Rozo when they conjured up this machine. It's even in its name, XCR, Cross Country Racer, so you know this thing was built for the toughest trails you can imagine. It can literally dominate the terrain and outlast the lungs of any rider who steps up to grab the throttle. The heart of this is in these things, the four Walker Evan shocks. Without them, the XCR couldn't be what it is. Polaris went all in with low and high speed compression adjustment and optimized valving specific to the XCR. These shocks can virtually guarantee that as a rider, you will never experience fade and that they can be tuned in your sweet spot with the adjustable preload and high and low speed compression adjustment. Every one of the riders of STV and OSM have agreed the shock package is the reason this sled is so good. With the shocks being what they are, and that's amazing, the XCR can now hit stuff harder than it ever has before. Now that could have created a little bit of a durability issue with the chassis, but again, they've thought of that, and the XCR has been beefed up to take it. Out back, the XCR has the Pro XC skid frame that is built for the rough stuff. With active pitch control to optimize weight transfer, it also features a chrome molly rear pivot and front torque arm that saves weight and is stronger than mild steel. There's also reinforced rail beams and front arm mount, along with solid bogey wheels and the IQR rear axle. In front leading the way are those sweet Walker Evan shocks we talked about, but also the pro steer skis that have been beefed up to take the pounding they're sure to see. Keeping all this trickery together is the Axis chassis and all the goodness it brings to the party. Plus, buried deep inside is the Clean Fire 800. The Axis chassis and clean fire components of the XCR have been around for a few years and really didn't require any modifications to meet the demands of the XCR nameplate, which is kind of a testament as to how tough they actually are. The package of the Axis chassis and clean fire engine has become the sought after sled for the crew of STV and OSM over the years and we've had a few in the fleet. Fist fights have almost broken out for who gets these sleds on weekend rides, they are that good. But I didn't want to spend a bunch of time telling you about how good they are. We all know they're pretty good. Instead, I wanted to tell you what makes the XCR the XCR, and that's the details. So here's another one. To go along with all that newfound speed you can generate with the switchback track, and given the fact that you can keep that speed up through the pounding rough stuff, and that you now have most likely driven faster and deeper into any corner than you've ever been before, you need a brake that you can depend on to slow you down. 
Polaris has installed their Race Technology PRT brake system into the XCR to give you that confidence heading into the corner at speed. The brake system also includes one of my favorite details of the XCR, and that's this thing right here, a ductwork that brings air from the outside through this tube right to the top of the caliper and rotor, meaning it brings that fresh air, cool air into this area that would normally be overheated, meaning your brakes are overheated, also meaning that your lever is spongy. With this system, that's never gonna happen. The bigger question might be whether or not you can live up to the XCR, because otherwise, this thing, it's gonna eat you for lunch.